Ноги на подножке, на подножке, ноги на подножке. Давай. Первая сразу, вторая. И газ, газ, газ. Beautiful horse, this one black and white. Now in front of me there is a big truck and uh, if I have the chance I have to overtake it otherwise I won't see anything. For hours, okay, but how to overtake it, man? Только ненормальные люди едут в той стороне, да? Эй. Hey. I felt something is not right and I stopped to check and the petrol tank is just moving around anyway i'll try to put it inside it's good that i decided to check the petrol can it's something like the inside something from inside told me that uh, maybe maybe it's time to check the can maybe it's good uh. otherwise i might lose it and this is not good this is the situation so far on the way to Magadan a lot of dust a lot of traffic many sections with sand from a technical point of view the ride is not difficult but it requires a lot of patience I am still, still in the lower mountains nothing so pretty We'll see how it's going later but yeah a lot of dust see what is happening with Pavel ah he dropped he dropped the bike let me go to help him unfortunately this is the situation here there will be sections with a lot of sand Секундочку, секундочку. Нам 
Нормально все? Да. В колье размотала. Ну все, давай. Медленно отсюда. В той сторону чуть-чуть лучше получается, ну через метров 50, наверное. Ну давай, первое, второе. Ноги положи на подножки. И медленно, я тебе давай поможу. Я так, что я доеду. Ноги на подножке, на подножке, ноги на подножке. Давай, первая сразу, вторая и газ, газ, газ. Да. All right. So far, so good. Все в порядке? Пока все нормально, а? Ну здесь снова, наверное. Вроде. Вон едем. Давай. Когда есть такой песок, ну движение надо. Песок когда есть, надо движение, движение. Если ты остановишь, ну. Сразу забивайся, она чуть-чуть больше. Не, здесь по колее начало скакать. Понятно, понятно, но все равно так надо. Может, крутит больше. И ноги на, на подножке, так легко будет. Если ноги ты положил на землю, сразу так делаешь. Давай медленно делаем. Тик-Куэл. Another one petrol station here. Okay, good. We just will stop for a while. Looks like in this first part of the road will be mostly sand and dust. Now in front of me there is a big truck and uh, if I have the chance I have to overtake it otherwise I won't see anything for hours. Okay but how to overtake it man? anything okay 
Okay. Duga, 113 kilometers, okay. It's our destination. So we've done more than half of the road. So far, so good. Six hundred and twenty. All right, let's make one break, man. Potatoes and juice. Все в порядке? Голоден уже, да? Все растрясло. Ел, пил, пил. Now we have to go to this ferry to bring us to the other part. But first, it needs to be loaded with trucks, and then will be us. So I'm gonna go on this shadow and wait. My famous look works again. Ferry is over there, but it will start minimum at six o'clock, six p.m. And the moment is, uh, let me see, it is four o'clock. If six p.m. there are no enough trucks or cars, it will start later. But then I spoke with local guy, and what they do? This is a, a small, uh, only. I don't know what is the name of this barja and we'll go to this one and we'll deliver to the other side of the uh, edge and then we'll go to Handega and now it's 4 o'clock and we can make it faster hmm. good
Только ненормальные люди едут в той стороне, да? Эй, last time when I was traveling on a ferry like this, this is all done, river. I was in Lena, it was in 2007, many years ago. And I am again here, enjoying this moment. We arrived one hour and 30 minutes is the ferry on the on the way back it's only 30 minutes because of the current like 35 kilometers to Handega from here well this is a situation after the cars and uh, buses and uh, four by fours it's a lot of dust moment there's there is no point to wait because the traffic just never stop in both ways opposite side or cars or trucks behind us so just need to go and finish this day that's it tomorrow morning we're gonna start very early and I hope that we're gonna have less traffic see behind me dust in front of me dust Yeduf Magadan pleasure to ride on the asphalt again uh, with open visor let's go to see what kind of hotel we're going to have tonight Pavel booked something Здравствуйте. Магадан. Магадан. Откуда? Документы посмотрим, пожалуйста. Как раз эта операция идет. I just been stopped by police, check the documents, all good, no problems, whatever. Where are we going? Give us a little bit of information, no problems. This is the place 
and this is the condition of the bike a lot of dust and <laughs> over me as well and this will be the same in the next week or so but that's all right all right toilet douche washing machine which one we cannot use because there will be no time to dry kitchen we can go to the supermarket buy some stuff and prepare the food and the room two beds excellent this is just excellent i haven't seen such a nice place for a long time I cannot explain you how good it is to take a shower after all of this dust. Anyway, now it's uh, 8 o'clock and we start today at 6 in the morning. Until we get out of the ferry from Yakutsk to this side, it was already 8 o'clock. So let's say 12 hours, strict ride, with just two small stops for breakfast and uh, lunch. We made it 415 kilometers to Handaga and uh, the plan tomorrow is uh, to reach uh, Kubeme, which is 320 kilometers from here and uh, we plan to start very early in the morning probably around five o'clock or something to avoid the traffic as maximum as possible because after all of this dust after the trucks and cars and everything it's just nightmare nightmare that's why we will try to do it easy now we'll go buy some products from the shop here and we'll cook our food as you can see we have everything so we're gonna prepare the food and uh, eat something and maximum at 10 o'clock we'll be in the bed waiting for the next day this is the situation if you want to see Magadan you have to eat a lot of dust good morning it is five o'clock and I'm ready to go Pavel need more five minutes and we'll take off the weather over there is clear in this direction but here is cloudy so we don't know what will be and as I said yesterday I prefer to start as early as possible and eventually avoid the heavy traffic the plan today we're here in Handiga the plan is to reach QBME which is 320 kilometers away and if everything is all right, we should be able to go there in the afternoon. But you never know. All right, this was Kandiga. Let's now find the main road and go to Kubeme. I'm gonna have just a little asphalt here. Back into the dusty gravel game. Luckily, no traffic now, so should be much better than yesterday I can see that it rains in the far distance so far this road is much better than yesterday until now we'll see how it is going to be later you can find some directories that are not that bumpy like here now here is alright but if I move here in the middle it's very bumpy bum 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 here it's a little bit better but it's always changed so you have to go left right left right and find the best option for you at the moment are in opposite direction and see the cloud that's why we start early now all the bridges as far as no i know are made from concrete like this one earlier maybe five six years ago all of these bridges were wooden and sometimes they just collapsed looks like it was rain here a few hours ago and now everything is subtle and because it's stone it's not slippery <laughs> did you saw the difference no dust at all because it was raining yeah good it was raining for about maybe 20 minutes and made the service even better but have a look now what i have found oh this is nice huh Let's see for how long 
because I know that it's not going to be for long. One day, all the road to Magadan is going to be like this. Don't get me wrong, it is nice, but the challenge to get there will be lost. All right, it was like, I don't know, three kilometers. That was nice. All right. This now is going to be <coughs> Chople Kluch, another small uh, village in which one we can refill the tanks. Chople Kluch, hot key is the translation. Anyway, uh, I don't think that I will have more than three liters, but I'm gonna do it anyway. miss the petrol station <laughs> anyway need to come back uh, 95 is over there okay they even have 95 After this uh, top lake Luch, the next town or the place that we want to reach, as I told you, is Kubeme. So from here we've got like 250 kilometers left. And the asphalt will finish after a few kilometers. So far this road is in even better condition. So far. see what I see I'm already in the mountains and everything changed Real nature, real nature. Still untouched. I said all of these bridges are new now, concrete. Все нормально, помощь нужна? А. Магадане, да. Отсюда. Болгарии. Болгарии. Я из Болгарии, он из Иркутски. Как там Болгария? Отлично. Хорошая страна Болгария. Хорошая, да. Здравствуйте. 
Ну все нормально, справиться, да? Помощь не нужна. А вы что, куда едете? Я из Болгарии еду в Магадан. Все, 